Hey, back here on the mower chip bore, and uh, I'm going to get set up to uh, bore a hole, just the basic steps to do it. And uh, I got different ways to center the hole. And uh, one of the ways I have that I use quite a bit, and I know people have trouble with this, don't like it at all. And that's the, uh, let me get that back here. That's the uh, electronic center finder. And uh, the problem with these is, is uh, getting the thing right to read an edge. And I, uh, what I've done is I found the high spot, because they can't make anything perfect. I found the high spot, then I always point the high spot to uh, the edge that I'm indicating off of. And I've had very good luck with this, and it's quite a handy thing for me. But often, uh, and, and plus being uh, old time about things, I, I generally always check with a regular dial indicator too. But uh, sometimes this thing can save an awful lot of time. Now I'm going to set it up with a, with a regular indicator. Okay. So I'll get that back there. And I'll get uh, a little closer here. And we'll get kind of down and we can look at this maybe. See if we can see the digital readout. The, you know, the thing kind of dances and hopefully uh, you can see what I'm doing. And I'll get over here. Whoop. Get around. It's a tight area here. <laughs> I think I knocked everything crazy that time. Okay, I, th I think we're probably okay. Okay. So I got an old last word dial indicator here. It's a stare at last word. And I got it basically centered like that. And I'm just going to bring it. I, I got it uh, on the y-axis. So I'm just going to bring that edge up. And I'm going to uh, bring that indicator right to zero, see? Then I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to go to y then center line, okay? And it says enter first edge, so I'll enter that. Now, you can't see it, but I'm going to be able to see it. I'm going to go back, okay? Then I'm going to turn it 180, all right? And then I'm going to go back, and I have to get my head back here, and, and I'll bring that to zero again. Okay, and that is right there. Okay, so I enter that edge. Okay, now I bring it to zero. And that's somewhat center. Okay. There we go. Oop, go the wrong way, it's so easy to do. We'll get that pretty good. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to bring it to zero. Get that edge. Bring that indicator up to zero. Then I'm going to go X center line. Then I'm going to enter that edge. Enter. Okay. I'm going to back this up. Turn it 180. And I'm going to bring against that edge. And I have to get around here and look. Right there is zero. Enter. Okay. Now I'm going to put that on zero. Let's kind of have a look at it. I have to get it pretty close anyway, huh? Okay, that's pretty good. Alrighty. So I'm gonna put that against the uh against the edge. And we'll see how good we're doing. I don't know if you can see that, but that's very good. Little correction on this side. 
<laughs> Not very much. Get her over here. Oh, I'm gonna push her back. Might have a slight ovalness to this hole. I'm gonna lock that. Now these are non-influencing locks. They don't work on the get. Oh yeah. I think that's really good. Oh yeah, that's that's good. I'm very happy with that. Okay, so um, there we go. Got a keyless um, drill chuck there. Okay. Now there's something I'm going to do, and I showed this in an early video, and I can get away with this on this part. Some parts you just want to uh, leave a little tiny scratch, but I'm going to put a little bit of ink right there, and I'm going to put a little tiny center drill in this chuck. Okay? Just like that. Fire it up, put in gear, make sure that's snug enough. There we are. Okay, now I'm going to move over to that ink spot that I think I need to add to. Just the tiniest little more. Oh, that's good. All right. Very good. Okay, I'm going to get the uh, drill chuck out of there. And I'm going to scare up a boring head. We'll get that happening. And here's a boring head. And let's see. That's a left hand tool. And I'm looking for a right hand tool. I probably lost it, but we're going to start getting this set up here and I'll, get, I'll find it. Might be over on the cutter grinder. Okay, we're going to get that in there. There, I see it. And I'm going to need a uh, Allen wrench too. Allen wrenches are something that. <laughs> Seems to elude me. Here that is. I found it. Okay, I'll get a handle for it. And leave this one right here. Okay. Now, here's a tool that I fabricated. Okay, I, I uh, showed these in earlier videos on the tool and cutter grinder. And uh, the reason I do this is because um, high shear inserts are extremely expensive and they're hard to find. And many of you probably didn't even know they made high shear inserts. And they work great. You know, those uh, carbide high shear inserts work great. But they're extremely expensive. And because they're high shear, they don't last very long. So we'll get the boring head in here. And uh, one of the, uh, I want to be sure it's tight. You want things uh, not too tight on these, just snug. And you don't want to put a cold tool into a warm spindle, it'll stick. So you got to be careful with that. Okay, now I'm going to put that in neutral. And I forgot something over here. Not too far away. Now I showed this before, uh, and that's how to um, align a boring bar precisely. 
And this is something that seems to elude uh, a lot of people. They just don't know how to do this, and it's important. So the boring bore will go in like this. Okay, there's, there's, it feeds like that, there's the feed dial. So we'll basically get it in there. There's the edge, point the edge to the back. And get that just slightly snug. All right, slightly snug. The screw's gonna fall out of there. Okay. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I can't quite uh, move it still, but uh, yeah, that's gonna be tricky. I'll try a finger tight. Okay. So now we rotate the dial to the back and we'll put a square across the vertical ways and go across the flat on the head. You see there's a flat on the head? Okay, okay, now I'm gonna, have to, <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick up on another video here because I'm running out of time and my tool fell out. But you have to uh, square the head to the machine and I'll pick up from here, thank you.